take a look at this structure I am officially in St. Petersburg and that's not the Russian version of St. Petersburg this is Florida baby and look at this beauty all the way next to Sarasota is situated this museum right here is that beautiful or what? I'm pretty sure the architect uh, used one of the images from Dali's paintings in order to create this building which was constructed a uh, few years ago maybe about uh, four years ago in 2011 and uh, apparently it hosts over 2,000 paintings of Dali in this particular building it's about 68,000 square feet imagine This is the lobby. The actual artwork is uh, in uh, on the third floor because it's a hurricane region. So to protect the art, they put it on the third floor. Now check this out. This staircase is is a spiral that spirals up and then it just goes into nothing you see it just and that's it it just hangs there but it is a staircase is that amazing or what let me draw uh, walk you through it so yep 2011 on january the 11th 2011 this museum was opened Created from the dream. Completely hard concrete. Uh, a lot of museums nowadays, when they merge, they uh, they use this concrete. Continues up. Did you notice this? Yeah, absolutely. That's crazy. But it looks like it's cracking over there. I'm sure they used rebar in there, right? Uh, yes. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was seven pores to uh, do it. Know, and you have the rebar in it. I mean, this is just a, a picture of the forms. You know, the outside here has not been finished. That's, that's from the forms. That, so this is gonna. They're not gonna cover it anymore, no. right? No. This. this and is, this is this is for uh, telescopes. Uh, no, that that was. That, that's just to. Um, to pick into the people to, walking up. Well, no, they had to bolt the forms together. You know, when they when they pour the. Concrete. But they didn't fill it in. No, because there's a bolt. There's a bolt going through there because they had wood on both sides. You know, to, to form the concrete, to form this, 
they have to bolt it together. Would you say this is formless? It was made with a form. With a form? Yes. They, 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 they built it. Um, they, they had pieces of wood this size that they had on both sides and they bolted them together. I see. Were you part of this time. creation? Were no. you part of it? No. no? This is a magnificent. Oh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like an art uh, and a piece of war, uh, artwork in itself. There's no two windows the same size. What do you mean? They're all triangles. But they're all different size. Why? To, to form, to form the, the arc, the igloo effect. They can't all be the same size. They have to be different sizes. There's really? 11, there's 1,100 windows up there, and they're all all different. All throughout. That's amazing. Fascinating. So I take it it was taken from Dali's painting. Uh, was it not? No, Dali. The, the, the architectural kind of. Well, a... yeah. This is similar. This is similar. The, the glass work is similar to the one that's in uh, Spain. Right. There's uh, what is it in, Mon in Madrid, right? Or... Uh, well, there's one in Madrid, and there's one in. Um, uh, Which contains the most paintings? I don't know. We have 46 here. Uh, I don't know how many are in Madrid. How many? I don't know how many. There's 46 here. 46 paintings? I was told it's 2,000. No, not, not the Dalis. The Dalis only 46? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. what about the rest? Escher? And, and Escher, Escher uh, I don't recall the number. I think there's maybe 90. There's a restaurant downtown of St. Petersburg, Florida. It's called, and it's the food is amazing, but look at the decor. It's like a museum of some sort, but like a modern art museum. So like you open the, uh, the water like that. You see like all the piping and everything is like old fashioned, like Quaker State barrel. There's like a bunch of stuff. Look at that, there's like a mirror an armoire with like a piece of a car, a Chevrolet, like a fender. Look at that thing. <laughs> a traffic light. How about that for a bathroom, right? That's something. And these are like some old fashioned pieces from a car or a bicycle or something like that. Anyway, it's like the decor is like insane. The woman's bathroom is even crazier, but I can't go there now. There's 135 of Escher's here. Oh, even more than Dali's it, yeah, at it, the Dali's museum. It, and this is a little bit disappointing. No, to be no, because these on are on loan. Plane. These huh? are on loan from Athens. This is not. This is not a permanent collection here. This is a visiting. This is collection. from Greece. Yes. I didn't know Escher was Greek. I thought he, he, he was he's, like he's Dutch. Dutch. Yeah, right. Right. But it's from the. From but he decided to immigrate to Greece because of the default and things like that. Right? No, not no, quite. He was, I'm just playing. No, he All was. All right. Now, okay. But, but so where should I start now? Like how? Like how do you feel I should start from Dali or or someone I, I, else? I think go in there. In and, there. And join that tour. And she's giving some information on the building right now. Uh, and then she'll cover. And she goes into more detail. She'll cover about six works. And she'll go into detail of some of the hidden things in Dali's paintings. Oh yeah. And you know. What's you, her name? Uh, I don't know. She, she'll have names. She tag. didn't introduce herself. Well, to she's you? a dose. They, they change every half hour. Yeah. All oh, right. So there are many of the tourists. Yeah. There. Yeah. Every half hour, there's a, right there's tour a, guides. And what are these holes? And uh, like, is this for? I, like uh, I don't it's know. like a Hubble telescope kind of right. thing, you know, like at night this whole thing moves and I, then you I, can I just think, I think that's all kind of like that's look into the sky it looks like and see different no, galaxies. It looks like air conditioning vents to me. You think it's air conditioning? It looks like a Hubble telescope. <laughs> but anyway, so who's the uh, the architect that created this? Um, it is... If you don't remember, no, I, it's okay. I don't, I don't remember. It, it, right, right. Um, but he's prominent, but, right? Is it like uh, yes. Frank Geary or...? No, no. It, he's, he's, he's a local architect. He's St. Petersburg. Local? From St. Petersburg, Russia, I no, see. No, no. Florida. St. Petersburg, Florida. Have you ever been confused by saying, I'm from St. Petersburg <laughs> and people think that you're Russian? No. No? All right. Thank but, you. But and what's I, your name? I'm Jim. Jim, my name is Renato. And where are you from, Renato? Me? Japan. No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I'm from Baku. Baku? Yes. You know where Baku is? Uh, no. Oh, it's in, uh, it's in Africa, next to Canada. 
I'm just playing. <laughs> it's in Caucasus. You know Caucasus? Oh, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That's where the Caucasian yeah. creatures mm -hmm. came from. And, you know, all you know, they populated the whole world after that. Well, the Noah's Ark, and great I used flood. To raise bees and I had Caucasus bees. Ca what? Honeybees. Honeybees are now Caucasian bees. Got it. All right, thank you. I'm filming this about this. Uh, do I have your and permission for this yes, recording? You do. And there's a mirror <clears throat> over there that gives you an Escher view of uh, perspective of your face. Beautiful. Thank you so much. All right. Enjoy. Thank you. Let's take a look at the mirror. So apparently, you can see your face right in it with the Escher's perspective. There you go. Can you see me? See, I'm looking at you, and you're looking at me. And if I move this way, you can still see me. Is that something? My face is a little bit distorted, but... I just woke up. We drove about, uh, what would you say, uh, 18 hours from New York City. And this is the perspective from the top. Quite fascinating, isn't it? All right, let's join the tour guide. Now, Dali was a very controversial figure. Uh, at one point he said, someone who tells the truth all the time is a fool. He was a collaborator with psychoanalyst Sigmund Freud. They were very good friends, at least in the beginning. And Sigmund Freud would listen to his dreams and then they would interpret. In fact, Sigmund Freud wrote a book called Interpretation of Dreams. It took us about 18 hours to drive all the way from New York and here we are in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Dali Museum and I'm going to show you a little bit of what these guys have to offer in terms of, oh, there's someone peeking in into the art video, but I'm going to show you um, what uh, collection of Dali's paintings uh, this museum has to offer. See you. I gotta be quick because they're almost closing. So these are the earliest works of his. This is when he was just starting out. As you could see, a lot of his works are kind of academic, but that's 1918, believe it or not. And yes, I, I'm aware of that. <laughs> You see, it looks pretty academic, even like a little bit amateurish. You could see that there's, you know, the concept of perspective doesn't exist yet. And see, this is also oil on canvas, but he's trying to mimic some of the artists of uh, the Renaissance, not the Renaissance, the, uh, uh, what's his name? And this is where I think he already met Gala. As you could see, the, that's kind of the break. Yeah. The average bureaucrat is this painting. I like this painting a lot as well. It's called Meditation on the Harp. This is the famous uh, image of uh, Lincoln. And he claims that you get one painting and you get multiple in one because each one of the squares is like 
abstract. All right, we're already close. So there's a lot of small paintings he's got there. Right there. Thank Which you, way is the elevator? Right through this way. Mm -hmm. right through this, this is, way. he's coming to America. We are at the Dali Museum and Judith is helping me understand the whole structure of this building as well as the history behind Dali's museum. All right. Well, let's start with the building first. The building was built five years ago. We moved in five years ago come January. And Jan Weymouth, the architect, designed this building. American? American with that name. The building itself is poured concrete. You can tell it's 18 inches thick. And it was poured by men of Hidalgo, Mexico, who are the world's eminent concrete masons. Mm. So it's built to protect the art from the hurricanes. So all of the art archives, everything's up here. That's why it's we, on the third floor. Yep. Because we, it's so close, the, the proximity is very close to the right. ocean, right? And the other building was an old warehouse down on sea level. And after hurricanes threatened a few years ago, we said, yeah, I have to build the building and right. protect it. So the building is built, the city gave us the property because Dali lived on the water. So we have this place looking at the sailboats. The uh, Dali loved Buckminster Fuller, so in Figueres, the museum has a dome, Buckminster Fuller Dome, but this is what That's in Spain, Jan right? calls, mm -hmm, Figueres, Spain, it's north of Barcelona. Uh, Jan calls this the Great Enigma, and there are 1,062 separate triangles. Which and are not the every, same size. They're, yes, they're, they're not tessellations, they're all different. So the rods are all different, and the noses are all different. And the glass was poured in China, the rods were made in Germany, wow. the noses were made in India, and it was all barcoded <laughs> and brought here. That's and amazing. And put together, and it doesn't leak. And it the, doesn't leak, okay. It doesn't That's... leak. The staircase is the world's largest helix staircase. It's freestanding, it's not attached to anything, it just sits on the floor and springs up. So it's a connotation and to Dali's... Uh, DNA. DNA it's the works DNA. like in, uh, in Fibonacci. his it's it's Fibonacci, Fibonacci sequence, DNA, yeah. exactly. And Jan had that poured, this, these were poured in stainless steel frames, so the walls are slick and smooth. The staircase was done in wooden frames, so you can see the nuts and bolts that held the wood together mm -hmm. because he wanted a contrast of a handmade looking staircase against this very mechanical looking wall of the building. Right. So what it, the building itself is just a big box. Right. But the uh, air conditioning vents look like portholes, again, that nautical theme. And the handrail is stainless steel sailboat mast. It was made here in St. Petersburg and the lines are shrouds that hold the sailboat mast in place. And if you start downstairs on the right side of the handrail and not let go, you come up, you come around the balcony and you go down the other side because it's a Mobius strip. Mobius? A Mobius strip. It's one continuous strip. And right, if you look completely. up Dr. Mobius on the website, you can see all the things he does with, with Mobius. The garden is also filled with math and science. The labyrinth at the south end is based on the one in Chartres Cathedral. The rocks are limestone. They came from Lake Okeechobee area of Florida, but the same kind of limestone in Dali's paintings. Mm -hmm. And over the years, they've turned orange and black. They were white when they came in, but they've weathered now. Oh, cool. So it looks like the paintings. Right, right. The disc down there with 22 pavers around and seven across, if you divide seven into 22, you get pi, P-I, 3.14. Oh, 3.14, so that's our yeah. pie garden. I see. The rock So down, he was interested in math as well. Oh, absolutely. Every, every painting's based on math. Really? The rock on the gravel is from Spain, from a, a park called Cape Creus, and that's where the crazy rock shape is from that creates the face called the Great Masturbator. There's oh, a right. rock there that's shaped like that. I see. And down below we have these squares Fibonacci that morph into... Fibonacci sequence right there, right? Well, the, the spiral is Fibonacci, but the other colored tiles are the... Um, from the uh, Lincoln Greek. kind of... Uh, yeah, Lincoln, but it's also the Greek golden ratio. 
mm. of how they built the Parthenon and the Greek buildings. I see. And the benches, the famous benches that basically kind of turn into a cloth, right? Well, that's not famous. Some artists gave it to us and we planted it there. Oh, I see. And that's a mustache from a billboard. People like to take pictures with the mustache. <laughs> right. I, I was going to ask you about well, that. That's a bit about the building. The second floor has all the... Uh, uh, offices, computers, everything that's also above flood level. Right. And the bigger the name on the wall, the more money somebody gave to build the building because it was built mostly with private funds. Mm, I see. And Morse family had a lot of uh, donation. The, to... This is the Morse's collection. Everything we own except Lincoln came later and <clears throat> Dallasy Dallasy came later. The Morse's gave us 94 original paintings and almost 2,000 works on paper. I see. Which and museum? Holograms. Right. Which museum in the world contains the most of Dali's paintings? Probably the Reina Sofia because he built a lot of his paintings there when he died. But they're they're not all out. Ours are all out. Oh, you mean like right now? There's the, almost 94 out. We have some at some is, some are visiting Spain right now. I see. But then the Escher show right now is is a fabulous show you it just started take time to see the movie it's an hour long and there's 135 handful pieces by Escher in there yeah, yeah, yeah. it's oh. another fascinating uh, surrealist now who's Dali to you who's Dali you've been to you've been with this museum for how many 18 years 18, 18 years are you an artist yourself yeah you He's, paint yeah I paint I sculpt I do pottery I do whatever my goal was when I retired from teaching that I would take something every year that I never thought I could do and then do it. That's so it. in Dunedin, Florida, we have a really great fine arts museum. So that's where I study. I see. Why is Dali's museum in St. Petersburg and no, nowhere else in America? Because when the Morses America? wanted to give their collection away, they offered it to the world, to, muse to a museum. Mm -hmm. With the stipulation, you had to take the whole collection and keep it together. And no museum wanted to do that. They wanted this painting or that painting. So a young attorney here in town, Jim Martin, his name's on the wall somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, he called them when he saw a New York art, uh, New York newspaper said, Art World Dilly Dally's over Dali. And he called them and he said, why don't you come to St. Petersburg? And they did. And they fell in love with the city. They found the old building that's on USF campus now right. and gave us all the art. This art belongs to the people of St. Petersburg and the that's people amazing. of the state of Florida. How old is St. Petersburg as a town or as a city? Uh, probably a hundred and some years. Mm -hmm. And it's named for St. Petersburg, Russia because the first man who, who settled here from Europe, his last name was Demon, probably Demoneski. And there's a place Jewish. down here called Demon's Land. Right. And uh, he was the one that founded St. Petersburg, Florida. Right, right. That. I see. There's also Odessa somewhere, too. Yeah, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. Moscow in Idaho, right? Yeah. <laughs>